There's nothing more nurturing and comforting than a big bowl of dal. I absolutely love it. It's one of my go-to recipes that I keep on my menu at home all the time because it's cheap to make, the kids love it, and it's so, so good for you. And I'm gonna show you how to do a really simple one with ingredients you've probably got in your pantry. I'm gonna start this recipe with a few tablespoons of full flavored coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, you could use a neutral flavored oil. I've also chopped up a little bit of ginger and garlic to start off the dal. I've got a few really simple spices that I'm gonna put into my dal. I've got a standard curry powder. You know, you could use Keens, Clive, or you could make your own. About a tablespoon. And as an option, just to amp up the flavor, I love to add a good teaspoon of whole cumin seed. And if you'd like a little bit of heat, which I do, just a mild heat in my dal so the kids will still eat it, some red dried chili flakes. You just wanna to toast that all off just until it's fragrant. Mm. Oh my gosh, this smells so good already. For this recipe, I've got red lentils, about a cup and a half of those. Just stir the lentils to coat with all the spices. And now I'm just gonna add some water. And I've got a can of coconut cream here too. You could also use coconut milk, whatever you've got handy. I'm gonna go in with the whole thing. This recipe is so simple. I'm just gonna bring it up to the boil and then after about five or 10 minutes, just as the lentils start to break down a little, I've got a chopped sweet potato. I'm gonna add in and let that cook. You can tell that the dal is almost ready by a few little things. It's really lovely and creamy. You can see that the lentils have broken down and it's beginning to catch on the base of the pan. So they're two really clear signs that you're almost done, which is great. To finish this off and just to amp it up with a little bit of extra goodness, I'm going to add in a can of chickpeas, which have been drained. And I'm always up for adding a little bit of greenery. So I've got some baby spinach as well. And even though the dal might seem a little bit runny, once you take it off the heat and into your serving bowl, it will firm up. I reckon that's good to go. Yum, so much goodness. So comforting, so nourishing. I love to finish off my dal with just a little bit of extra seasoning. I've got some fresh coriander leaves. And this recipe is perfect for any vegetarian or vegan friends that you might have without sacrificing on flavor.